Hello, I'm Governor Laura Kelly. Today, I'm pleased to kick off the announcement of this year's Community Development Block Grant Award recipients. I cannot say enough good things about the CDBG program. On the surface, these investments will help our communities enhance vital infrastructure, like water and wastewater systems, or improve access to quality, affordable housing. But these grants mean so much more for the long-term success of our communities that have gone unheard and unsupported for far too long. The CDBG program is about improving the quality of life for Kansans in communities that need support the most. It's about creating economic development opportunities in our rural towns and retaining and recruiting new business. It's about encouraging our talented young people to build a life and a family here in Kansas after they graduate. It's about fueling opportunities for Kansans in every corner of our state. In 2020, we distributed more than $35 million in CDBG grants to projects statewide, and we're not stopping there. The community development team at the Kansas Department of Commerce has been reviewing applications for the 2021 CDBG grant awards for housing, community facilities, and water and wastewater categories. The grants we're announcing today will give Kansas families and businesses access to safe streets, sidewalks, running water, housing, libraries, community centers, and parks. The kinds of essential community developments that will boost our efforts to make Kansas the best place in the nation to work, to live, and to raise a family. To the communities receiving awards, I say congratulations. Thank you for taking the initiative to pursue ways to move forward with these vital projects. Now, Commerce Secretary and Lieutenant Governor David Tolan will provide more details on the Community Development Block Grant Program and how it's making our communities more prosperous for future generations of Kansans. Take care, everyone. Stay healthy. Thank you so much, Governor Kelly. I'm so excited to share more information on this truly powerful difference maker in our Economic Development Toolkit. Community Development Block Grants are one of our department's primary tools to help smaller rural communities improve their quality of life. If you're unfamiliar with CDBG, here's how it works. The program awards federal funding provided by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, with dollars allocated to states for the purpose of improving living conditions in our smaller communities. Cities and counties apply for funding through the Department of Commerce. Our team carefully considers all applications, scores them, and then decides which are awarded by selecting the most effective and efficient and urgent projects on the list. This year, 32 projects have been selected for funding, totaling grant awards of nearly $14 million. We're confident that these projects represent the best, most practical, and most essential community development projects we could have funded in our state this year. I want to express my thanks to all who applied and my sincere congratulations to those who received grant funds this time around. The process is ongoing, so we encourage communities to continue to identify meaningful projects as we consider the next round of CDBG grant funding. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the additional work that the CDBG team has taken on since the pandemic started to help our Kansas communities and businesses. This is my team and I'm proud of them. Through the deployment of CDBG COVID relief funds, a total of 1,003 businesses have benefited from small business grants, retaining 3,700 jobs, of which 72% are held by low to moderate income people. A total of 445,000 has also been granted to local community meal programs, providing essential food to the people who need it most in these uncertain times. Additionally, through the deployment of CDBG local revolving loan funds, another $4.5 million have been reinvested in more than 300 businesses, and we've retained nearly 1,200 jobs across the state through this program. So thank you to my CDBG team for serving the people of Kansas. I'm proud of you. And now, to introduce each grant category and announce the communities awarded, please welcome Department of Commerce Director of Community Development, Kayla Savage. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Toland. Community development block grants for 2021 are separated into three categories, housing, water and wastewater, and community facilities. We'll also be honoring three projects awarded in 2020 that focused on commercial rehabilitation. Let's start with the first category. 
projects tailored to improving community housing. These projects focus on benefiting a target area in the local community to renovate established housing, often bringing the housing up to code and improving the value of the property. Awards in this category include Fowler, Kingman, and Wilson. Next, let's talk about water and sewer. These projects fund improvements or resolve problems with aging or outdated infrastructure. Though these projects are often underground and unnoticed, their importance is essential to sustaining communities and their prosperity. Communities awarded this year include Nortonville, Emporia, Highland, Osawatomie, Caldwell, Vermilion, Chautauqua, Toronto, Independence, Mullenville, Fall River, and Mankato. Next, we have projects surrounding community facilities. These projects range from providing essential service equipment, like fire trucks, to quality of life enhancements such as parks and playground equipment. Community facilities grants are the intersection of community needs and community-driven solutions. We encourage a high level of community engagement in all CDBG projects. Awarded communities in this category include Coffeyville, Concordia, Valley Falls, Russell, Iola, Fredonia, Horton, Arkansas City, Great Bend, Holton, Alma, Lincoln County, Hayesville, Neosho Rapids, Phillips County, Cottonwood Falls, and Eureka. Finally, let's look at the projects centered around commercial rehabilitation. These projects renovate commercial buildings in the downtown district to serve as a catalyst for business development. Grants are awarded to projects that will bring the building up to code and enable a business to fill an underutilized space. This category's awards go to Eudora, Fort Scott, and Lincoln Center. Congratulations to all of our awarded communities. And now, to offer their congratulations, let's hear from some of our state legislators on the impact this funding will have for their communities. Uh, the city of Emporia, uh, which is in my district, uh, is very appreciative of the CDBG grant that they received that helps finance a replacement for a sanitary sewer lift station in the northeast part of Emporia. That structure, that infrastructure right there is over 50 years old and that nearing the end of its useful life, it needed to re be replaced. And this grant makes it possible for the city to replace it while also make investments in other parts of the uh, infrastructure and maintain rate stability for residents in Emporia. So we really appreciate uh, the, the grant and we're putting it to excellent use for our residents. Hi there, I'm State Representative Lance Neely, and I'd like to congratulate the City of Eudora. This Community Development Block Grant has helped us revamp a commercial building in Eudora, and it will make future economic development for the location easier. I'm very pleased that the CGBG program was able to assist with this project. Uh, I want to uh, congratulate the City of Alma for uh, their receiving the Community Development Grant of six hundred thousand uh, dollars the community like alma they're a very rural community and we are in a time of great need especially in the rural areas and this will go a long way to helping them with their gas lines and whatever improvements they need to make in their city congratulations valley falls and nortonville for your receiving the grants for community block grants these are going to make a great difference to the residents of their community, Nortonville for water and Valley Falls for road improvements. Congratulations Great Bend on receiving this community block grant. $600,000 grant is going to be extremely helpful for our street program. I'm excited to see what you guys have in store and congratulations. Hi, this is State Senator Tom Howley. I want to give a special shout out to you during this most important $250,000 commercial rehabilitation project. This funding made it possible for you to renovate a commercial space, to draw a new business and create a central hub for further business development in the future. Again, congratulations to Brock and TJ and the entire Eudora team. 
Well, first of all, uh, congratulations to Wilson and Cottonwood Falls. Both of those communities are in the Senate 35th District and they are very uh, deserving. Uh, they have a high level of energy and community spirit and this community block grant uh, program has uh, will benefit them in enhancing uh, their programs and making them a more vital community to live in. As, small, as you know, most small communities are struggling with population issues and funding issues and moving forward and this will certainly help them. All right, this morning we want to congratulate Cottonwood Falls on receiving this Community Development Block Grant. Small towns have really been hit hard by this last pandemic and the money that we receive today from the federal government will go a long way to improving the quality of life in uh, Cottonwood Falls. We've had several great events down there from broadband expansion to many new people starting to look to relocate and we want Cottonwood Falls to be at the front of the, of the consideration. Nestled in the southeast corner of Marshall County is the forward-thinking community of Vermilion. For many, many years, poor water quality has been the norm, to the point that bottled tap water has been the drink of choice instead of turning on the tap. All that is changing with the town's approval of a federal community development block grant in the amount of $250,000 that will focus on water systems improvements for the community. The first stage of the project includes digging two new wells, erecting a new water tower, and leveling the old tower, which was built in 1936. The vitality of Vermilion is evident everywhere in the town, from the Friends of Vermilion group, the local library, the morning coffee spot, and the place where learning begins, USD 380 Early Childhood Program, which is located in the old Vermilion school building. Tiny students attending proudly tell everyone they're in preschool or kinder prep. Congratulations, Vermilion, the small town with big plans. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Fagg, Senator from District 14, and with us today is Joe Newland. He's the representative for District 13, and we've got some great news coming out to Topeka. There has been the Community Development Block Grants have been awarded, and we've got quite a few in our area, and this should be a huge impact for the rural Kansas. So Representative Newland, you want to tell us about it? Absolutely. You know, it gives me great pleasure and all to stand here with the Senator and tell you about these four communities that are receiving these great grants. You know, we have four communities of Fall River, Toronto, Fredonia, and Eureka. All four are getting tremendous grants, you know, 300,000 and above and all to, first, to help develop their sewer, their facilities within the town. So this is a great opportunity. Not only that, the city of Eureka has, has gained over $80,000 to help with their community building and all their heritage foundations. So this is great news and all for our communities, Mike. So Representative New and I will be excited to get around when these projects are done and see the good things going on in our district. Thank you.